Hi there. Hi. Hi, Facebook friends. I'm here today with Jonathan Fong from eHow.com. Hi. And I'm Sarah from Cuteness.com, and today we are celebrating an amazing day to celebrate. You know, you get these holidays all the time. It's Margarita Day, which is fun to celebrate. You get Best Friends Day, which is also fun to celebrate, but this is one of my favorite holidays to celebrate. It's National Craft Beer Local Shelter Day. Yay! Yay! National Craft Beer Local Shelter Day. Bringing two amazing things together, crafting, and animals, helping out animals in need. So Jonathan Fong, a fabulous contributor for eHow.com, is here with us today to show us some crafts that you can make for your local animal shelter or rescue. Yeah, it's a great uh, Facebook Live because we're here with eHow and Cuteness.com. So uh, I love Cuteness as, as well. There's you know, so many great you know, pet tutorials and, and just fun uh, videos of Pets doing you know, cute things. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of great DIYs, so check us out. You can go to cuteness.com slash DIY, or you can follow us on our Facebook page where you will see our latest up-to-date DIY videos. So let's talk a little bit about National uh, Craft for your local, local shelter, shelter day. day. It's uh, a mouthful, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, and uh, so so that's the focus of our crafts today. So, you know, tell us a little bit about what about this day means. Yeah, of course. So, um, if you are an animal lover and you've been interested in helping out one of your local shelters and animals in need, you've probably come across a couple different ways that you can help the cause of um, homeless pets. One way is you can always donate your time or your money at your local shelter. Another way is you can foster a pet. You can also adopt a shelter or rescue dog. And the third way is by helping out your shelter with fun things that will help animals and pets get adopted. And that's some of the crafts that we're working on. That's today. what we're doing today! Yay! Rosetta says hi and she found you. Rosetta! Hi, Rosetta! Rosetta put her alarm clock on so that she wouldn't miss us today. Oh my so gosh! So thank you for tuning in, Rosetta. We love you so much. Thanks, thank you. Rosetta. Yeah, and, and we're in Santa Monica, so let us know where you are watching from so that we could uh, say a shout out to you because we love to hear from you and, and where you're watching from. So Yes, we can't hi. wait to hear where you're from. If you have any questions about any of the crafts we're doing today or if you'd love to share a picture or a story about your rescue pet, please do oh, some yeah. comments. We would love to see Post a picture of, uh, of your pet. Okay, so let's get right down to okay, it. Okay, let's get The started. first thing we're going to do is uh, make doggy bow ties uh, because you know when uh, a shelter animal can wear a handkerchief or a bow tie or some kind of ornamentation, you know, it makes them more adoptable. It sure does. It really does, especially for some of the big dogs that some people might think look mean or scary, like a pit bull or a Doberman. Those dogs you throw a bow tie on them, and it is just like. They're, they're, they're cute and you have to take them off. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we've got some awesome viewers. We have Randy from Oklahoma. Randy from Hi, Oklahoma. Randy. Hi. And C. Garcia from Redwood City, California. C. Garcia from Redwood City. I used to live in Redwood City. What? You know, yeah, and I went to Garfield Elementary School in Redwood City. I went to Hoover uh, Junior High in Redwood oh City. God. So, hi, Redwood City. Hi, Redwood City. <laughs> I wanted to let you know she is watching from the Bronx. Bro oh, wow. the Bronx, Rosetta. Great. Wow, the Bronx. Okay. Uh, let's so keep those comments in and we're going to hear from uh, from you all but uh, let's start with this bow tie okay. so we're starting with a, a piece of fabric look at this cute fabric I got this is adorable this has little doggies little on puppies, it puppies and, this, and this has like a, a little dogs on it with pink and I actually made this bow tie last night Okay, uh, and it was really, really easy. I did it in a few minutes. I'm gonna That's do it. Adorable. We're gonna do it now, the way I did it, but for a, for a dog, so it'll be a little bit bigger. Okay, uh, and it, for some people who are you know never sure about you know going to a, a fabric store and it's like, what do I buy? How do I? You know, the really easy solution I did uh, was these are ca called fat quarters, and quilters know what fat quarters, fat quarters are. Yeah, and it's basically like a, a quarter of a yard. And they come oh. you know, folded up into a little square. So you don't have to really think about it. You don't have to go to the counter and have them cut the fabric. Oh, it's already great. cut for you. It's called a fat quarter. Okay? Uh, so to make this bow tie, you need like a piece of fabric that's about the size of it, like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Okay. Okay? Uh, so in fact, you know, this is kind of like close to it. Mm -hmm. uh, so why don't you kind of estimate okay like, great uh, if you want you could like use a ruler oh you yeah can, uh, you can Let eyeball it 
<laughs> Stephanie just tuned in from the Great Garden State, New Jersey. Stephanie from Hi, New Stephanie. Jersey. Hi. Thanks for tuning in with us today. I love it when so Stephanie is a regular viewer, and I love to hear from Stephanie. So thank you so for watching us again. Thanks for joining us, Stephanie. Okay, let's see. I've got my eleven. Now let's get. That's about right. Let's get it. Yeah, the, the bigger there. piece of, of fabric you have, the, the bigger bow tie uh, it is. And if for like a bigger dog, you know, you'll want like a, a bigger bow tie. A bigger bow tie, of course. Yeah. Although a tiny bow tie would be so cute. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you're doing it, you can always kind of adjust and go, you know, I think it's too big. Okay, okay? great. And we're going to do this without sewing, uh, which is great. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to sew. Yeah. It's, uh, so, so kids can do this too. Uh, so oh, how fun. That's, okay. What a great summertime activity with the kids. Yeah. Jonathan, yeah. Tequila wants to know how long you've been crafting. Oh, uh, the question was how long I've been crafting. I've probably been crafting for about ten years. Wow! So it's not that long, actually. Yeah, you know, and you are um, an expert. I don't know if I'm an expert. You know, <laughs> no, my, my thing is I, I would try anything. You know, I'm not really afraid of like messing up because might as well just try it. So well, that's a great philosophy. Uh, but thank you for have. thank you for that question. But anybody can start crafting. Also have Laura from Cincinnati. Laura from Cincinnati. Hi. Hi, Hi Cincinnati. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so we have this piece of fabric, yes. and mine's is smaller than yours. Yes. Just to show you that you know you can start with any size, and you know it, it'll be as big as you want. Okay. Uh, then we're going to just, just kind of fold it in thirds, okay. and you'll get an idea of how wide your bow tie will be. This is almost like you're folding a letter. Yeah. Like to put in an envelope. Yeah. So my bow tie will be about that wide. Okay. So, uh, so yours is going to be that wide. Uh, how do you feel about that size? I feel good about that. Okay. And I feel good about Let's mine. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so instead of sewing it, we are using fabric fusion tape. Oh, wow. I need to wear my glasses because I really can't see where the tape ends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So for those of you who are just watch, uh, tuning in, uh, today is National Craft for Your Shelter Day. Yay! And we are doing crafts uh, for dogs uh, that can help them get adopted. Yes, to help them get adopted. Sometimes it really, really helps to have just a little bit of extra cuteness sprinkled on a shelter dog to help them get adopted to their forever family. And that's what we're working on today with Jonathan Fong from EHO. Okay, so I cut this piece. This is this is kind of double stick tape for fabric. Wow. Uh, and so you don't have to sew it. I've never heard of that before. It's the best thing. Okay, <laughs> you can get it at the craft store. Uh, so uh, it has one sticky side and one non-sticky side. Okay. So I'm just gonna put it at the edge of one side. So okay. why don't you do that with yeah. yours? Oops. I'll help you. There we go. Okay. Great. Put that at the edge, top edge there. And then press really hard. Because really the hardest thing about this project is separating the <laughs> Lining from the actual tape. So. Oh my gosh! Good thing I have long fingernails. I know Hopefully that will I, help us. I didn't. I didn't cut my nails <laughs> today just so that I could do that. Okay, then we'll just kind of peel that off. And Sarah Rosetta loves this idea of doing this for an animal shelter. Thank you, Rosetta. Thanks, Thank Rosetta. Thank you so much for your kind words. You know, Rosetta loves my dogs. Uh, let's talk about your dog. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys, I'm sure you've seen already in this Facebook Live broadcast, my dog, Mr. Buddy Cruiser. He's sleeping right here below us. Buddy Cruiser is a rescue dog. He was turned into the South LA Animal Shelter March of 2013, and then he was taken in by Much Love Animal Rescue, and that's how my husband and I found Mr. Buddy Cruiser. Now, Jonathan, you have two dogs also. I have two rescue dogs. Their names are Fosse and Gershwin. And how did you come up with the names for your dogs? This is one of my favorite things to talk about with pet. Well, my my dog, my rescue dog prior, uh, her name was Broadway. <gasps> so uh, when she passed away, uh, I got two new dogs mm -hmm. at, at the shelter. Uh, one was from the shelter, and one was from a rescue organization called uh, Perfect Pet Rescue. Oh, uh, that's such a great name. Yeah, because uh, all pets are perfect. They really are. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I wanted to go in the Broadway tradition since my last dog was named Broadway. So that's how we came up with Fosse Aww, and Gershwin. <laughs> those are great names. Are you having trouble? I am having a ton of trouble here. I really get what you're saying about this being the hardest part. <laughs> oh, 
Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay. And then you, you want to do one at the, at the top and one at the bottom. One at the bottom. Yeah, so Wait. I've done one, if you could, it's really hard to see the tape because it's invisible, uh, but uh, I've done one at the top and one at the bottom. So then what we're going to do is, uh, as you're continuing there, uh, fold it into, into thirds here. And Just then, like we did before. Yeah. And then press down to secure the tape. So this way, like all the ragged edges are in the back. Ooh, perfect, and, because uh, I did not cut mine straight at all. Whoops. Yeah. So this is what Jonathan means when he says, press down on the side of the because you're going to get a mess like I just did here. But what is crafting if not making a mess and having fun while you're doing it, right? I know. Because like you said, try anything. Yeah. Have fun while you're doing it. tuning in and she wants to know what you're making. Patty, oh, hi. hi. Thank you for, for tuning, tuning in. in. Uh, so today is National Craft uh, for your uh, local shelter day, and we are making crafts uh, for pets to uh, make them more adoptable. Yeah, to just give them that little bit of extra cuteness to help them catch the eye of a family in a shelter or someone looking to find their forever friend. So we are making right now a doggy bow ties, uh, and uh, I kind of similar to this one. I made this last night and we're gonna make so a, a, a bigger one for for dogs and you may like doing it so much that you'll make bow ties for yourself as well as dogs yeah and you know like Jonathan said earlier he was mentioning that this is really a great activity to do if you have some kids um, coming over if you have a sleepover what a fun party to have when you make things for your local animal shelter yeah yeah and it doesn't require sewing so you know anybody can do it no because sorry. we're just using fabric tape <laughs> If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the first thing we did was we kind of folded this into thirds yep. uh, and, you know, taped the back. And now we're going to bring in the sides. Okay. Kind of just meet in the middle kind of thing? Kind of meet in the middle. Okay. Uh, although, you know, it'll also show you how wide the tie is. So if you want the tie to be a little bit wider. Oh, okay. Uh, you don't have to meet it in the middle. So kind of make it the size you want. So I think like that size is good. Great. Yeah, uh, that looks good. Uh, and then in the back here, then I'll want to you know, put some tape in the back. I'm using your scissors for this because I don't want to use my fabric scissors. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, the good scissors. <laughs> you don't want to make those dull, right? Yeah. My mom growing up always had three pairs of scissors. One was for gardening, one was for crafting, and one was for cutting paper. Yeah. And boy, did I get yelled at for using the wrong scissor on the wrong thing. <laughs> Hi, Mom, if you're out there. <laughs> so, um, Holly thinks this is so great, but do you guys make anything for cats in shelters? Hi, Holly. That is a really, really great question. You know, we don't have any projects today to oh, make cats for Although, can you, can you do a bow tie for a cat? You know, you definitely can do a bow tie on a, on a cat, and it can help them get adoptable. They might not keep it on for a long period of time. But a lot of dogs won't either. Exactly. <laughs> we also have a really great DIY. If you go to cuteness.com slash DIY, you can find a really fun cat toy tutorial that has a wine cork and pipe cleaners. And all you do is put some pipe cleaners in the wine cork, and you have a fun, cheap, and easy cat toy. That's a great idea. It is great. Our friend Maya helped us with that DIY. All okay. right. Okay, so we put uh, the double stick tape, yes. fabric tape on the sides, mm -hmm. and so we're gonna try to peel off the liner again. Yes, this is the hardest part, guys. Really pushing that in there, getting that to stick. Yeah. So we are making pet bow ties for your local animal shelter. And if you have your own pet, uh, you can make one for your own pet. And let us know where you're watching from. Okay, you peeled that? So I good. I did. Okay, so fold it into like the width you want it. Okay. 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 Oh, yours is going to be really cute. Look at that. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> Just be nice and big, which is great. <laughs> Uh, and mine's gonna be like that size. Okay, now we need to uh, look at your leftover fabric. Okay. And this is really random, but you know, cut like a piece that uh, is about two inches wide. You can just eyeball it. Cut okay. about two inches wide by about four inches. Yeah. 
So mine's like this. I mean, yours is a little bigger bull tie, so you can get bigger if you want. But How's that? That's perfect. Great. Okay. And then we're just going to fold it over. Okay. To kind of make like a loop here, like, like that. And again, we'll use the double-sided tape to just kind of stick them, stick it on. My very favorite thing about this project, besides that it can help animals in shelters, is that there's no sewing involved. <laughs> that is such a great thing. You know, sewing is a great skill that, that I, I learned, but it does still make me nervous. Okay. <laughs> Makes me yeah. Let's, so let's, very nervous. Let's make the width of yours about that, okay. since you have a bigger bow tie. Great. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put one on one in okay. here. And then put one of my one in here. Jonathan and Sarah Ray Lee would like you to say hi to Mansfield in Ohio. She's three years old. Hi, Ray Lee. Hi, Mansfield, hi, Mansfield Ohio. Ohio. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Thank with you for us tuning today. in. I love it. Thank you so much. We love you, Ray Lee. Thank you so much for tuning in on this wonderful, fun, fun Friday. It is a special day because we are collaborating with cuteness.com today. And cuteness is collaborating with ehow.com. Yeah, so we're on the Facebook Live feeds for both pages. And we have some comments on the cuteness page as well. Um, we're, we have Teresa from Portland. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. And we have Melissa who just tuned in and wants to know what you guys are making really quickly. Hi, Melissa. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are celebrating National Craft for Your Local Animal Shelter Day. And so we're making a few crafts that will help local animals at your shelter get adopted. Right now we're working on no sew bow ties. No sew bow ties. It rhymes. It does. Okay, so, oh, so you, you did a really good job there. See, I need to, Thank I, you. I still need to have some extra tape. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish mine. So we've made the body of the bow tie, but now yes. we need to make like the middle loop here. The middle loop. And this will tie it all together, kind of like what you see on yours right there, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so I have like the middle loop here. Uh-huh. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scr uh, scrunch the middle of it. Okay. Hey, this is looking like a bow tie already. Kind of like that? Like that, exactly. Oh, what? Okay. This looks just like a bow tie. <laughs> yes. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that I made it. And then this. we're going to take this little section okay. here and then tie, loop it around the middle here. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you don't want to do it too, too tight, but you know, just, you know, like. Great. Okay. And if you have any extra here, uh, you'll be looping it around and we're using more tape to tape, secure it. Tape, tape, okay. tape, tape everywhere. So put a, put a section at the very end okay. of one of, of your Thank loop you. here. Same. If you have any questions, let us know. Let us know and please if you have an adoptive pet, we would love to hear about your adoptive pet. We'll be happy to give them a shout out. Oh yeah, we want to say hi to your pets. And we would love, absolutely love to see the pictures. That's one of my favorite thing is when cuteness and fans and followers send us pictures of their pets or leave comments to tell us stories about their pets because that is really, really what matters. Your relationship with your pet and making sure that you are both living your happiest, healthiest lives. Okay, so now onto the scrunching. Yeah, so scrunch, we're gonna scrunch and then it's pretty good. Yeah, there are a few stray threads here and there, but I'll just cut them off. Okay, so now how we're gonna fasten this to the dog? <laughs> that is a great question. How yeah. are we going to fasten yeah. it to the dog? Yeah. So, so see, if you have a, a yeah. few like, uh, there are there are a few like pieces that are you know not secure. That's fine. You know, you could add a little bit more tape there. You know, just but overall, it's it looks great. That's a great idea. Uh, okay. Okay. So what we have is a, some ribbon here, and let's measure the uh, buddy's neck. Okay. Well, let's do this on, on our, our buddy here. Let's measure his neck to see how uh, big. Uh, we need to make it 
Oh, buddy, he's asleep. He is having a great nap right <laughs> now. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Buddy is so cute. Thanks for being our model today. Oh, buddy. he's such there? a good model. They asked my dogs, Fossey and Gershwin, to come here today, but they're a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Every dog is different. They're, they're great, but you know, they, they, they don't take direction well. They wouldn't just sit nicely like Buddy here. <laughs> okay, so this is about the size of Buddy's neck here. Okay. Rosetta is our star commenter today, our star <gasps> Rosetta! Viewer. She thinks it is going great, and she is loving the bow ties. Thanks, Good. Rosetta. Thanks, Rosetta. Okay, so this is this the size of Buddy's neck. Okay. Uh, and what we'll do is put, see, see the back of the bow tie here? We'll just thread this through the loop that oh you made. Oh my gosh, that is so clever. And, you know, if I were more clever, I would have done this before we tied the loop together. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter because this will still go through. See, like that. Wow, look at that. See, so this will hold the bow tie. And then we're going to add some Velcro to the ends of it Ooh. so that we can just That is such a good it. idea. So you can take it off easily. Yeah, put yeah. Back on when you need to. And there's no sewing. No so. sewing. My favorite thing. Okay. I, RD loves Buddy. Hi, RD. Don't you love Buddy? Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> okay. And so we're putting it on the opposite sides. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, so but make sure that when you turn it over, it'll fasten. Yeah. Great. So, okay. So, so it'll be this side for here and that side for there. All right. So if you're following along at home, when you're putting your Velcro on, you're going to want to put one side of the Velcro on the inside and one on the outside so that when they yeah. close, it'll make a full loop. And again, it's really hard to peel off. Yeah. The, There's the a Velcro. lot of peeling projects here today. Uh -huh. This is great practice for me. Okay. And put it on that end. Oh, you All got right. it? Great, yeah. Okay, so it's going to be like that. Wonderful. Okay, so let's try it on Let's on, try on, it on, on buddy. buddy. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's see. Oops. Wow, now that is a great bow tie for you, Buddy Cruiser. Look at, look look at, at you. Look at Buddy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Buddy, looking good. <laughs> oh. Buddy went to the dog park today, this morning for about an hour, so he is tuckered out. Oh, look at him. He's really impressed by his new bow tie, isn't he? You know, there's this amazing saying that is so true, and if you have a dog in your family, you know this is true, a tired dog is a happy dog. <laughs> It is so cute. Okay, so let me finish mine just for the people who missed that. Uh, you know, I, I created this little bow tie. For those of you who are just tuning in, we're making uh, bow ties for dogs and cats and people. Yeah, and if you have a reptile, you can put it on your iguana. You'll probably want to make it a little bit smaller, but there's lots of ways you can use these bow ties. And most importantly, you can use them to donate to your local animal shelter to help cats and dogs get adopted. Yeah. So this is a you know, great way that you can have like a matching bow tie to your dog because oh, wow. you know, I made one like this for me and then this can be for my dog. I didn't even think of that. You know, I have some friends who just got engaged and they wanted to take engagement pictures with their cat, but they didn't know how to incorporate a fun costume in there. I'm going to tell her all about this. She yeah. can put a matching bow tie on her cat. It's not too invasive. It's just a small little bow tie you tie around. Right. And she can make a matching one for her fiance. Okay. So... Uh... So you just did this live on camera, Sarah. Do you think it was an easy project for you to do? This, if, guys, I'm telling you at home, if I can do it, you can do it. This <laughs> craft was so easy and especially easy with Jonathan Fong's wonderful instructions. Oh. <laughs> and this is really great from Rosetta. She said, this is very nice and a great idea. We can't have dogs where we live and kids are highly allergic to cats. Sad because they love them, but this is a way we can love them too. Yes. That is such a great insight, Rosetta. You know, unfortunately, some of us are allergic to pets. My husband's allergic to cats. We can't have a cat in our home, but this is a great way you can give back to your local shelter if you can't be there to volunteer in person. Yeah, like if you can't have a, uh, a pet in your apartment or, or whatever, uh, you can go to your local shelter and volunteer, and it's like a way of having a, a pet. But 
you can have many pets that exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah. So I made this matching <gasps> wow. bow tie for another dog, and it goes with mine. That is so cute, Jonathan. <laughs> Yay! So, so that's the bow tie. Let, let me uh, show you something that's even easier. Uh, and easier. That's a, a, I like a, the sound of that. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a doggy bandana. So Yay. it's very easy to make a doggy bandana. Uh, and i show you even how to personalize it. So I got this another fat quarter. I got this cute camouflage okay. fabric. Now for our friends at home that don't know what a fat quarter is, can we remind them again? Yes, a fat quarter is, if you go to the craft store or the fabric store, uh, instead of actually getting a bolt of fabric and taking it to the counter and having them cut like some uh, fabric for you, uh, they also sell these things called fat quarters. Oh. And it's a, basically a, four, a quarter of a yard and uh, it comes already folded up into a square and you unfold it and, and it's like this big. And that it's, is so it's handy. very convenient. You know, so and handy. it costs like, these cost like $1.49 for oh, like a wow. little, little, little sheet of fabric. So it's, it's a great deal too. They're always on sale. So you want to cut like a little square uh, of it. Okay. Uh, and it, you know, it makes like, this little bandana shape by, by cutting the square. So uh, I'm kind of eyeballing it. And you can hem this with the fabric tape or you could leave it unhemmed. That is a really, really great idea. So that way you don't get some of these stranglers. Yeah. And the way you hem it, well, how do you think I hem it? With fabric tape? <laughs> with fabric tape. <laughs> you can sew it, but I like to use fabric tape. Nobody has time for that. <laughs> My friends who are, uh, you know, big sewers are, uh, are horrified that I'm, uh -oh. I'm not sewing. Uh, I enjoy Sorry, sewing. Sorry, sewing friends. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy sewing. sewing. I love I love to sew. Uh, we do but, love but, sewing. But I'm doing this That's because right. for people with, with kids or people who are afraid of sewing, uh, you know, this is a, a project just to show that you don't have to have that skill to do this, yeah. okay? Anyone can craft. Okay. You don't necessarily have to have all the skills to make okay. something beautiful. So ideally, you'd, you'd also kind of measure your dog's neck to see how it'll fit. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but I, I did an additional thing is I created an iron-on, okay? <gasps> uh, and you, know, you can buy like iron-on sheets uh, yeah. from Staples okay. and, or, or craft stores. And uh, it's just really easy to iron on and you just have to remember uh, this is for you know, lighter fabrics, and uh, you have to do it in reverse oh, because it'll go on. That is a great tip. Yeah. I can see myself yeah. making that mistake. Yeah. So uh, this says it's in backwards. So you can't see, but it says rescue dogs are possum. Possum. I love it. <laughs> because the, the great thing about dogs and cats is you can do puns. Yes, you can. And we do a lot of them at cuteness.com. <laughs> okay, so I, I've already ironed it on here, uh, and this is kind of how it looks. That looks amazing. And if you have a rescue that you're working with that you're making these bandanas for, you could put their logo there. You could put Adopt Me, uh, any hashtag campaigns that the rescue is doing to generate awareness. The ideas are endless. Yeah. And Amy says hi, and she loves this DIY. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. Thank, Thank you, you so here. much. I'm glad you like it. More fabric tape. Yeah. Yes. So we'll just put some at the corners here. Okay. I made this bandana a little smaller because my dogs are on the small side uh, and I, when I've tried using bigger bandanas for them mm -hmm. they kind of, kind of it's more like a cape yeah or something like can step on them but they hang down too much in the yeah. front they can yeah. step so, on them get them dirty so measure it for your own dog or if you're doing it for the local shelter you know you can make a few different sizes yeah that's a great idea Sarah, we have Victoria who says hello to you. Hi, Victoria. Your viewers on cuteness. Hi, Thanks Victoria. All right, let me get started on this. Thank side. you. Let's see. Yeah, watching this peel liner from tape is the most exciting thing. This could be a whole <laughs> video in and of itself. How to peel. Look at you're tape so liner. good now. <laughs> like I'm still struggling here. Right, let me get this in. Let's see if I can get it. So now all of these supplies, Jonathan, that you got, you got either from the craft store or from an office supply store. Is that right? Yeah. Great. Oh, got it. There we go. Okay. And then you, you just kind of... Instant hem. Wow. Instant hem. That yeah. is amazing. Okay. 
So we have an instant hem there. And we just have to do this side now. You know, this has really blown my mind into all the things that I can FOSO. FOSO, yeah. <laughs> so just like this, Jonathan? Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's put this here. This comes with uh, a few different companies make this double-sided tape. This is Aileen's. Uh, but I think Dritz makes one as well. Oh, great. It just depends what your local store has. Yeah. It's called Fabric Fusion. And also, uh, I've, I've used uh, fabric glue in the past. You know, it's a little messier than this. It's not, not as instant. But fabric glue is great to have, so you don't have to sew. I have to say, though, you know, the peeling can be kind of troublesome when you first get started, but after a while, it's really fun. <laughs> it's, really fun. <laughs> it's satisfying, right? It is very satisfying. So Dolita says, hi, Jonathan. Dolita. Hi, Dolita. You know, hi, I, Dolita. D Dolita visited me. Uh, she didn't visit me, but she, she was in town, and I, and I was able to spend the day with her last week. Uh, and Wonderful. We, and we ate a lot Oh, together. great. That's my favorite hobby. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Victoria loves this idea. Thanks, Victoria. Thanks, Victoria. It's fun doing projects for dogs, isn't it? It is so fun. It is, you know, at the end of the day, I'm so unlikely to do a project for myself or my home, but if it's for an animal, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I'm gonna get that energy and make something beautiful. Look at how cute the okay. bandana is, so, Jonathan. So, uh, and there was like no sewing involved. No and, sewing. Uh, and it looks perfect and kind of professional, doesn't it? And it's a very <laughs> low cost craft that you can do to help animals get adopted very at your local shelter. Yeah, so you would just kind of tie this around here, or you could connect it to the uh, the, the collar, collar if they have a collar. Uh, so it's uh, you can have it yourself <laughs> here. <laughs> so that's uh, a great idea. Yeah. So this is another fun idea. Uh, let's move on here, okay? So for those who are just tuning in, this is what we made here. We made uh, bow ties and bandanas for dogs for uh, our shelter dogs to help them get adopted and. You could see if uh, Buddy is modeling his right now. <laughs> and like one of our wonderful viewers said, you can also adapt either of these to be for cats if you want to help out your local shelter cats. The bandana might be a little trickier, but you can definitely make it work. Yeah. We did include that cat project that you mentioned on our page. Oh, great. Okay, so if you're looking for a fun DIY craft to do for your local cats, we have a really great toy that you can make with line parks and pipe cleaners. Check the comments on the video on cuteness. And if you're watching from eHow, go to facebook.com slash cuteness inc and you'll see the craft posted there. Because we're both eHow and cuteness. Yes, today. together for Yay. a very important cause. <laughs> okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to do for sh shelters is, you know, I love it when uh, like I, on Facebook I see like a picture from uh, a, sh a shelter and it's Somebody who's just adopted, oh, just adopted, uh, and, yes. and they have a photograph oh, of it. I'm okay, I'm going to cry. So okay. happy! It's my favorite uh, thing to see. So, so we're going to create like a photo frame, like a <gasps> kind of a photo opportunity, uh, so that whenever somebody gets adopted, uh, not somebody, well, <laughs> the, 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 the person and the dog become adopted together. Uh, it's like a little frame for them. So it's like a little Instagram frame that, that, that we're is making. That's such okay? a great idea, Jonathan. And then your local animal shelter can use this to help to promote adoptions on social media. Yeah, yeah. A great way to contribute. So the first thing we have is that's just a standard piece, a 24 by 36 inch piece of foam core. Okay. Okay, it, this is how it comes at the store, 25 by 36 usually. And uh, this is gonna be our Instagram frame. And I pre-cut it, so cut like, a hole in the middle where the photograph would be. Okay, and since I didn't want to do it on camera to bore everybody, <laughs> I cut it, and I'll, and it'll just magically pop off now. It's probably a good thing because I'm very clumsy, so sharp tools are not my friend. <laughs> yeah, and if you're doing this at home, you know, don't let the kids near the sharp blade. This already looks very Instagram like. Yeah. Okay. I can see them already. Pop this out. All right. Yay! Look at that. <laughs> already, something's Big happening. Idea. Yeah. So, so this is where we're, where it's gonna be like. We're gonna be in this frame, okay? And, and with a dog. Yeah. Or, or a cat. Uh, so there's enough room here for everybody. For everyone. Okay. So then we're gonna decorate it. And to decorate it, I'll show you how I did it. Okay. So I printed out on my inkjet printer at home, just like. 
uh, the different words that you would see like on Instagram. Oh, that's okay. a great uh, idea. Uh, just to make it, you know, give it some authenticity. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just on my inkjet printer, and then I cut it into little pieces, and we're going to glue it on here. Great. Uh, you know, for example, you know, fifty-four thousand three hundred sixty-seven likes. You know, a hashtag give me shelter. That is so cute. Give me shelter. <laughs> I love okay. that. Uh, so what you can do is you can glue it, or you can. Uh, use a glue stick or spray adhesive, but I'm going to show you my f favorite toy uh, for, for, for adhering, and it's really no mess and easy. And this is my Xyron uh, Creative Station. Wow, that is a very cool tool, it looks like. So what does the Xyron Creative Station do, Jonathan? It, it makes everything uh, a sticker. No, everything? <laughs> Anything you want? Well, yeah, so I'll, so I'll show you. Uh, so this is going to go in here. My mouth just dropped, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the nine inch version. So okay. it, it's really perfect for like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Great. Uh, uh, and then you just crank it. <gasps> Whoa, right before our very eyes, the sticker is born. Yeah. And then you just cut it off. Wow. And then this is like a sticker. Oh my gosh. Uh, so get this out of the way. That is so cool. Yeah, and then you peel off. This is really easy to peel off like that. Okay. You throw that away, and then this <gasps> has become adhesive. How does that work? That's amazing. And then you can just stick this on the poster. Wow. Okay. That is so cool, Jonathan. This has blown my mind. Because <laughs> I used to use, uh, well, I've used glue sticks and glue, but you know, you don't get that perfect seal. Yeah, and it's not smooth. It can be bumpy. Yeah, and yeah. Edge. And then I use uh, sometimes uh, spray spray adhesive. Yeah. Oh. But spray adhesive gets everywhere. Yeah. It's very dangerous. It gets in your lungs, uh, and it, it gets everywhere. Yeah. But this doesn't get anywhere. It's just. Uh, Perfect. Hey, Jonathan. Yes. You impressed Dolita enough with your creative station to finally use hers. Oh. You gave her the nudge. Yay. Dolita, yes. You know, uh, I'm so I, excited to see what you make, Dolita. I've, I've taken class, at, like card making classes at a like paper source. Uh -huh. you know, they have great classes. And, and sometimes I use this and I say, oh, I have one. No. <laughs> 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 okay. So I've already pre-cut and pre-stuck some of these on here. So this is going to be our frame. Great. So let's show you some of the stickers I made here. And if you're just tuning in at home, I'm Sarah from cuteness.com and we have Jonathan, I'm Jonathan. here representing ehow.com and we are doing some crafts that you can do for your local animal shelter to help get animals adopted. Yes, and we're making a frame uh, for a photo opportunity at the shelter uh, that uh, shows that you know, celebrates whenever uh, a pet has been adopted. Yes, once they found their forever home and they're going home. Yes. So at the top of it, uh, we need like an Instagram logo, but what we have, Petstagram. <gasps> Petstagram. <Okay>. Petstagram. <laughs> and we made these stickers. Now there are so many animals on Instagram now. There's celebrity animals that have millions of followers. I know. Dolita is just like the rest of us. She has so many things that you have to have, but then never uses them. <laughs> oh, I know. I use this uh, creative station all the time. It's a great excuse to use yours, Dolita. Okay, so this, this is going to be at the very top here. Okay, great. Uh, hopefully I'll center it. Look how nicely that sticks. Wow. Okay. <laughs> And it blends in seamlessly. Look at that. Yeah. So then the next thing on a uh, Instagram page usually is like a picture, profile picture and a name, right? Mm -hmm. So for a profile picture, I use a picture of my dog Gershwin. Gershwin. So, now, do you have an Instagram for Gershwin? No, I don't. You know, he, mm -hmm. he's just usually on my my own. Yeah. I should. Buddy Cruiser has one. Oh. <laughs> So here's All a right. picture of Gershwin. Looking here. good, Gershwin. Now I'm doing everything upside down, folks. I just want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so things may not be straight. And then usually have the name. And I choose chose cuteness. -y, Thank you. Which is a cuteness's Instagram. It sure is. If you are on Instagram, please give us a follow. We have lots of cute animal pictures and we do lots of work with our local shelters, so you can always follow us on Instagram to see more of what we're up to. 
All right. I love how easy this is. You just peel and stick, no messing around with sticky glue or mm -hmm. weird fumes or anything. Yeah, wow. no fumes. Okay. And then at the bottom, you know, I, there's so much stuff that's usually at the bottom of Instagram that I didn't put everything. Like you can put, you can put the likes yeah. or the uh, give me shelter. That's one thing you could do. Uh, or I'll leave it up to you since this is the, the cuteness thing and you're going to get to keep yeah. this. On the bottom, they also have the icons. Ooh. So you want to put the icons down here? Or do you want to put the likes? I like the likes. Okay. Yeah. Then let's do that. Let's go for it. And then if you're just tuning in at home, once again, we are making a really, really great um, way to display when a pet at your local shelter has been adopted. It makes for an amazing photo opportunity and you can personalize this for the shelter that you're volunteering with or making these crafts for so that it has their hashtag or their logo on it. So just really encourage all the people, all of the friends and family of the uh, newly adopted pet to go out and take a look at their shelter and think if they want to add their new family member from a shelter. Yeah. And like I did a really bad job of sticking the sticker down here. So don't look too carefully. You did a great job, Jonathan. <laughs> okay, so so this is the frame and then we would right. have we would like uh, be in here with the dog. Should I grab Buddy Cruiser? I think you should but Let's grab Buddy it. Cruiser. Okay. okay. So we're waiting for our dog model here. Alright. Oh look at Buddy with his bow tie. This oh is he's buddy so cute. Cruiser. Yay. See how cute this photo frame would be for uh, a photo op. And just imagine you with your new furry family member in one of these adorable, just adopted Instagram <laughs> photo opportunities. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> okay, and then I I have a bonus for you. A bonus? Uh, okay. A bonus for Buddy? Uh, yes. Uh, in addition to this frame, I also made these little uh, thought bubbles. For oh, our, wow. Uh, so you can put one like above the dog that says, I found my forever home. <laughs> Look at that. That is so fun. It's like a photo booth. Yeah. Or uh, for, uh, for you that says, I'm the one who got rescued. Oh, <laughs> they really do rescue us, don't they? They do. And these were really easy to make. I just, you know. Printed out a message onto an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. I cut out a, a thought uh, bubble uh, shape and then mounted it on a piece of black paper and then cut out that shape as well and then just glued a popsicle stick. To wow, that. that is so fun! Pretty easy. And one of my favorite things too is if you know if you donate this to a shelter and someone maybe is a little rough with these things and they need to be, it's so easy to make. Yeah, yeah, and and. You can have these on your own. You don't have to have a frame with it. You can just make a bunch of these, uh, and they could just have these at the shelter that you know you can uh, just have these with you. You can take pictures with them. That's such a great idea, Jonathan. <laughs> of course, you're full of amazing <laughs> ideas. Yeah, so uh, they're fun. And, you know, dogs inspire us so much. They do. And they cats, do. too. I'm allergic All to animals. cats, but I love cats. <laughs> they love me. It's so hard <laughs> to be allergic to an animal that you love. I know. Uh, so just to review what we've done today, uh, today is National Craft for Your Local Shelter Day, and I'm Jonathan with, with eHow. I'm Sarah with Cuteness. A and we've made projects for pets at, at shelters that will help them get you know, adopted. Yeah, just that little extra touch. Yeah, so we have made, we made this doggy bow tie. <laughs> That Mr. Buddy Cruiser is modeling for us. Yeah, and I made another one for a smaller dog, and I made a matching one for myself. <laughs> and then we made uh, little doggy bandanas, so you can just wrap it around. Oh, this kind of fits, buddy. Yeah, look yeah. at that. And then we made a Petstagram photo op, so when a pet gets adopted. <laughs> and these little thought bubbles. Ooh. Uh, that go, go with them. <laughs> so is anybody else that we need to give a shout out to out there? We can say hi Victoria one more time. She hi Victoria one more time. such a good boy. Hi Victoria, I think Our, I know which Victoria that is and I think that Victoria is my mom. Hi mom, that's you. <laughs> Gave Buddy a nice little nickname, Buddy Snoozer. Buddy yes, Snoozer. that is a great nickname, wow. RD. Thank you. Oh, you know, and I'm sure Dana is watching. Dana always gets mad that I don't say hi. So I'm Dana. saying hi to Dana. Hi, Dana. <laughs>
Let's see if Buddy Proof can say hi to Dana. Hi, Dana. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so thank you all for joining us. This is a fun Facebook Live. This huh? is so fun, and I love the fact that it gets people talking about how they can help their local animal shelters. Yes. Yay! Yay! Adopt. Rescue adopt. pets are the best. They really are. They really are. And if you can't adopt, you can foster, you can volunteer, and you can donate your time or some of these amazing crafts to your local shelter. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.